Let's let's get your thoughts on Drew Brees. Yeah. And, and and when it comes to sports conversation, we're good at counting, right? Mm -hmm. Whether it's rings, yards, touchdowns, whatever. And then inevitably it turns into some conversation about the greatest of all time and where people rank. Right. What do we do with Brees? What do you, as a guy who tried to stop people mm -hmm. like Drew, what do you do with him? You know, the hard thing about Drew Brees is I don't know if he was ever considered the best quarterback of his time or even the best quarterback in a year. But when you look at his durability and his sustained excellence, I don't know if there's been a quarterback who's played this well at 40. Even Tom Brady, who had the excellence and excelled as a team, wasn't doing it this way on the field. And to have Michael Thomas and to be the most accurate quarterback of all time and be able to do the things that he's doing at this point the way he is, we've never seen it. And so amongst his contemporaries, you're going to look at Tom Brady, mm -hmm. and then you're going to put Drew Brees on the same tier with Peyton Manning. I'm not saying they're standing side by side, okay. but when you tell their stories at the end of football for both of them, they're going to be guys that we regard very closely. And even though Peyton Manning kind of has a story that I think we all attached ourselves to much earlier than Drew Brees, mm -hmm. what he's doing right now is amazing, and I don't think it stops this year. And if you go back and look at their outs in the playoffs, they've had some excruciating yes. L's. And if they get those wins, how does that change how he's regarded? Mm -hmm. that, that's a different conversation for a different day. Let's switch to the other side of this football. Yeah. And let's talk about the Saints defense. Mm -hmm. Because you and I have done a lot of talking about the NFC and who's who and what's yeah. what. What does their defense do if it plays like it does tonight about how you view them? It changes the whole way, not only you view this defense, but the way you view this team. Mm -hmm. I was saying for weeks, I thought the Saints were the best team when Teddy Bridgewater was playing because of this defense. And they got back to it tonight, and they got to it early, starting with Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. He came off the edge, and he was a force in the run. Here you're going to see them blocked down, and they're going to try to get a peel back on him with Zach Pascal. He gets the blitz off the edge, and he beats a man one-on-one, -on -one, which we didn't see them do against the Saints. San Francisco 49ers. And here is what I love about the pass game. Demario Davis was a war daddy. Matched up one-on-one -on -one with Jack Doyle. You lose all help to the inside because T.Y. Hilton goes there. Now it's time to make a play. The last time someone was in this position against a tight end, it was against George Kittle. They missed a tackle. They hold on for dear, li dear life by a face mask. Those things change tonight. If they play this way, this team becomes the biggest threat to the San Francisco 49ers to me to act Actually get to the Super Bowl and let's just circle back to the NFC and peel back and look at this big picture and again this is something you and I talked about on Sunday yeah. and I feel like we've been doing it for several months mm -hmm. but look you got four 11 and three teams and they feel very different right because San Francisco got that win there against New Orleans in a coin flip game you still view them even though Se Seattle's currently ahead of them in the West with a game to to play at home yeah. Do you still view the Niners as the I team? do. I do. I still view them as the most complete team. I believe their coach with his understanding of his offense and the way that he could protect Jimmy G and this defense when healthy. We watched them yesterday without Richard Sherman, without Tart in the back end. When they have those guys and when they're clicking, I believe that they're the most complete team. Now, here's the thing. If they have to travel to New Orleans and play against Drew Brees again with a healthy Jared Cook, the game could be different. But from what I've seen this season, you have to give the nod to the San Francisco 49ers for the way they played throughout the year and progressed. I understand that, and there's, there's, it would be hard to argue given that San Francisco just went in there and got that victory. I just, I don't know. I, I feel like the Saints, especially working with the, the, the fury of last year's postseason yeah. and how, it, in their estimation, was taken from them, I feel like give me them. The, the, thing that, the thing that scares me is since Drew Brees' return, they lost to Atlanta at home. Yep. They also lost to the San Francisco 49ers. And that's a very difficult place to play. And for me, I've seen the San Francisco 49ers travel, and what they do travels well. And th they don't have a loss where they were got bullied and got beat badly. Yes. Every loss they have, you could go back and look at and say, if not for this, they'd be perfect right now.